Hello everybody and uh, in this uh, tutorial we will see how we can uh, install docker machine on uh, AWS EC2 instance and uh, we will also perform some useful docker commands. So if you are new on channel I request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. So let's get started. Now. Uh, we will launch our instance because we don't have any uh, right, right now any instance for the name of this instance we will call it as docker demo because i'm creating this uh, tutorial for docker and uh, for machine we will select amazon linux machine because uh, we will perform all the commands on linux instant type you can see I'm using T2 micro and the key pair I will use my created one and uh, if you don't have uh, any key pair so you can create uh, your own key pair by clicking this create new key pair button and if you scroll down you can see in the firewall or security groups I will allow uh, HTTP and HTTPS because uh, we need that okay it's time to launch our instance so this is the simple step for install uh, create your instance so my instance is uh, creating so you can use your instance when the status check will passed two by two okay now you can see uh, the status of uh, my instance is uh, two by two check passed which means my instance is up and running so it's time to connect uh, this instance and uh, perform some docker commands we will connect this through simple connect okay establishing the connection it will take four or five seconds okay it's up now uh, because uh, our machine is uh, new and fresh so we will perform some commands first for this machine like uh, we will update our machine so this is the command for update your machine sudo yum update hyphen y as you can see it says nothing for you because your machine is up to date okay let's go further and uh, now it's time to install docker on our machine because as you know our machine is uh, fresh so we are installing docker on it so uh, once you complete that setup or install docker on your machine okay once you install it now it's time to start the service of docker because uh, when you install any software on your machine it's uh, compulsory to start that software to use that so I just start my docker now uh, if you want to check your status of uh, your software so this is the command and you can see it's active and running so it's mean we can execute our further commands or we can f uh, do further things on docker machine so now it's time to create uh, and perform some commands and uh, these commands are very useful when you when you are using docker so the first command okay let me just uh, 
convert to my root user and uh, now I'm convert to root user and now we can perform our all commands easily we don't need to type a uh, sudo before our command so the first command is docker version so when you complete your installation the first command will be docker version and you can see your version the current version that you installed okay the second command or second thing that uh, you can apply is uh, to search any image because uh, the docker machine is uh, fully depend on the images so we are searching for uh, any image like uh, we will search nginx and when you type docker search nginx it will give you all the images that they have in docker hub and you can see uh, the status and uh, the first one is uh, officially uh, image by nginx so we will uh, pull that image for our tutorial so docker pull is basically used to pull any image from docker hub so if we type docker pull nginx it will pull the image from the docker hub and uh, it will download on your docker container now it's uh, time to check our images on that uh, machine so you can see we have uh, just download that nginx image from docker hub and this is the image id and uh, other information about this image so once you uh, pull that image now it's time to create a container with that image so first we check that uh, we have uh, any container or not as you can see we don't have any container right now so now uh, we will create an uh, docker container with our a pulled image so we will type docker run and uh, hyphen d hyphen d is basically used for detach mode and uh, hyphen p is uh, used to assign any port to your docker container so we are assigning 80 port to our container because uh, when we uh, type localhost in uh, Chrome or any web browser we can get the result so our docker container has been created so if I just type docker ps it is uh, show, showing me the container that I have just created and you can see the port that I assigned to my container is uh, port 80 now uh, if I show you the magic uh, if you just search your public IP you can see the response is coming from uh, that IP because we just uh, install and uh, configure that in uh, nginx container to localhost so now it's time to execute another command which is uh, docker logs basically uh, when we are running any container and uh, we want to see any log files or uh, uh, data that we are uh, running on that container we we will check by that uh, docker logs so uh, we can check that by container id 
So if uh, I execute that command once again with the container ID, you can see the response uh, and it's showing all the result that we request to HTTP and it's uh, answering and it's return us the answer and that's all the logs of our container so now now we will uh, if we want to check our network that where we are uh, running right now so this is the command for check the network of your docker container so in my case it's running on the bridge uh, bridge network all right now uh, I will now if you just want to uh, stop uh, any container you you can stop by that uh, docker stop and uh, the ID of your container and uh, now you can see we don't have uh, any running container right now so uh, and uh, there is a one more command that you can use to see all the container list which are running or exited so now uh, as you can see uh, we have container but it's exited so with the help of docker ps hyphen a you can see you can also see the exited container now uh, if you want to remove uh, any container or any image all right there is another command uh, docker push so it's basically used when you create your own image and if you want to push that image uh, to docker hub so uh, that on that time you you, uh, you use that docker push command okay uh, now uh, if uh, we move further and uh, this time uh, if you want to remove any container or any image you can use docker rm means remove command and if i just uh, show you with the docker ps or docker ps hyphen a so you will clearly see that we don't have any container because we removed it so uh, now if you want to remove any image uh, from your docker machine you will use docker rmi rmi basically you are removing the image so uh, you will just uh, type uh, docker remove image and the image name it will delete all the layers of the image so if you can see we don't have image right now because we just delete it so this is it for this video hope you guys enjoying that video and if you are not subscribed to my channel uh, please do subscribe and uh, press the bell icon and uh, smash the like button and uh, if you want to watch any more videos please visit my channel because i have a lot of content on my channel thank you so much